This week's TLDR is a lonely Just Martina TLDR because somebody Boring. here didn't want to talk about Korean beauty product stuff with me. Boring. So rude. So yes, today I'm talking about Korean beauty products and how confusing their labels can be. So for some of you that might have ordered Korean beauty products online or if you're living in Korea, it can be a little bit confusing sometimes when you try to buy something and it says something like emulsion with whitening and pore tightening and you're like, what's emulsion? And what is the difference between a pack and between a sheet? I want to talk about those things today. Let's start off in the hair world, shall we? Okay, got my shampoo. Okay, that's weird. They don't have any conditioner here. Turns out rinse is conditioner. So if you're looking for conditioner in Korea, do not be surprised when it says rinse. It literally means conditioner. In the realm of Korean hair beauty, if you want to get a perm done in a Korean hair salon, you might be thinking of perms as like a really old fashioned thing that only like grandmas do. But Korea and Japan have that kind of technology down pat. A long time ago, I ended up getting a magic perm done. And a magic perm is when you have your hair pin straight. It took me like three to four hours at the hair salon and I didn't know what I was getting into, but my hair was like Cleopatra level, completely straight. Is that right? Did Cleopatra have straight hair? Was her hair in like braids? Perhaps that was a bad example. Okay, I had like Lady Gaga pin straight hair and it stayed like that for like six months. Later on, I dallied in the world of digital hair perms and digital hair is when you have those kind of spirals, not like the really, really tight ones. And there's different levels as well. There's like ones that are like volumizing. There's like C curls, there's like S curls. And those ones might be like a wave versus round versus mermaidy hair. So all these different terms will have a different perm, but all of them are gonna cost you like a minimum of a hundred bucks and up. Some can cost like 500. And if your hair is bleached or damaged in any way, they will refuse to do it and rightly so, because I heard your hair can break right off. So I've been devastated because I've wanted to do these big mermaid curls for so long. Every hair salon was like, we're not doing it, Martina. It's gonna ruin your hair. <sighs> one day. So there are a couple things for your skin that you can kind of figure out on your own. Like for example, if you want to remove your makeup, you might be using lip and eye remover, which I'm sure you can figure out means makeup remover, but you wouldn't exactly say that it's eye and lip remover because you're like, oh, look at my eyes are gone. Like, there's also a difference between remover and between cleansing oil. I thought these were the same things, just disguised in a different way. But cleansing oil is actually something you put on in advance before you actually use soap on your face. So you like put water on your face, pump out this cleansing oil and you use it to like remove your makeup and it's supposed to be that the water and the oil mix together so it's not like sinking oil into your skin and then after you do that you rinse it off then you use the cleanser to actually wash off the oil from your face and after that you can still use a makeup remover or should I say an eye and lip remove -er. and that will be like the final way to get rid of all your makeup but oh no you're not done yet now we have to get into the world of toner essence emulsion cream lotion and sebum yes some people do that many things when they're cleansing their face to begin with Toner is actually, I think, the correct phrase in a lot of countries, and I don't know what it's for, no matter how many times people explain to me that it's some kind of pH balance stuff, but whatever, I use it whenever I get it for free. But this one is confusing. I've been getting a lot of free samples that say emulsion or essence. If you actually put it on and do the typical commercials, you know the ones. Mm. Just applying my essence. I feel like there's a good Zoolander quote in here that I'm forgetting. Man is water. Water is the essence of man. Isn't there like a merman joke in here? After your emulsion or your essence, you have a couple of options regarding different kinds of serums. So if you have like oily skin or if you have like blackheads and stuff like that, there are different kinds of products you can use before you apply your final lotion. So I literally don't even know how to say this word and I had to Google it to figure out what it was. It's either sebum or sebum, which I think should be like a member of a K-pop band. You'd be like sebum, it has like a great feel to it. It's like Kibum's best friend. It's Kibum, right? Bros, fact check, key bum, right? Key bum, BFFs with C bum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sebum or sebum, wherever you say that, I looked it up online to figure it out. It's actually like the oily, waxy stuff that comes up under your nose or comes up from like your hair. And supposedly it's supposed to help waterproof you, but we're all like, oh, we're glossy and shiny. You need to get rid of that. And we like powder it immediately. So there are some products that you can buy that will say like sebum control. And it's supposed to help you with like the oil in that situation. So that can cause people to have some really bad acne. I like how I'm leading into like a dermatologist talk. Was that right? Dermatologist, dermatological. Anyways, that's that's sebum. Now there's lotion and there's cream. Well, essentially cream usually comes in a jar and is a lot more expensive and it tends to be more like a night cream. It's not something that you'd put on and then put makeup on top of. It would be a little bit too oily and too intense. So if you have oily skin and you use like a night cream, it might cause you total chaos. For me, I like using Korean creams in the winter time because I tend to get like super dry skin, but I can't use it in the summertime or my BB cream and everything just melts off my face. So lotion is more of the light stuff. If you tend to get free samples, they usually give you a pack of like 
three little things and it'll be like toner, essence, lotion, and I never know which one to use. So now I know it's first toner, then essence, and then the lotion. And if they give you a cream, it's gonna be something that you wanna put on like at nighttime. Now there are a couple other terms that are confusing like peel and whitening and brightening. Dewy finish, mask sheet versus the pack. Here, take this. It's the Pearl Aura Brightening Cream Pack. I don't know what you're trying to say to me. I'm gonna talk more about it in the blog post. Make sure you click the link here and I will give you the whole breakdown of what order of operation you should be doing with all your stuff. Also, my question for you today is, do you have an eight step makeup removing routine or face washing routine? I mean, I know not every country is as into like the whole cleansing process as Korea is, but I mean, Korean people have amazing skin. So maybe they are right with what they were doing. I think it comes down to sunblock. I think if you wear sunblock or you avoid the sun, you're gonna look great. Let me know in the comment section below and let me know if anything in your country has strange names that you don't quite understand either. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go remove my eyes and lips.